Hello, hello, welcome back, OGs, dreamers, and new friends. Welcome, welcome. I am your host, Anna, and today we are in Fox Hall Manor. This is my dollhouse that um, was gifted to me by my sister-in-law, and she had bought it off of Facebook um, yard sale stuff, you know. I'm not on Facebook, so I don't know nothing about that, but you know what I mean, so. She gifted it to me and I've had it ever since. It's a beautiful house, but it does have lots of things that need to be repaired and fixed and what have you. But the overall condition is just amazing. Okay. So let me take you through this room real quick. I'm going to add, I wanted to switch the carpet out. I did do a video before this and it, it conked out on me. It stopped in the middle and I didn't know. And I was just talking to nothing. Yeah. So we're kind of, you know, picking up <laughs> where we left off. So this little table here is a table which you can buy, you know, off of any store, what have you. I created that full marble top. And that was my first time doing it. And that was about maybe 20 something years ago. Um, that picture is from online and I cut it out and then I added some backing to it. Same thing with this um, picture here. I did share with you when I made that, um, I was taking pictures out of art books that I had bought from a thrift store that had seen better days. And yeah, it made its way to this room. Those are two lamps that I created myself out of beads and paper. And little tops are even, yeah, they're closed all the way up in the top. And then little florals that I purchased online. Now, if you can see the architectural details of this house is absolutely beautiful. This is the most prettiest house I've ever had. And the details are just amazing. And there is a little um, grandfather clock there. It's not little, but there's a grandfather clock. And if you do open it up here, let me see if I can do it without shaking you guys too much. Come here, my friend. I don't want to knock you over. <laughs> I think I am. Okay. As you can tell, it has little movement there. Let me push her back. And um, here's another beautiful detailed table right there with a floral i did take off if you see all the gunky stuff all that's wax i did take off the curtain off of here and um i'm thinking if i want to put it back or not so i'm kind of leaving the wax up there for a minute if not i'm gonna to have to try to work it off the walls here's a little side table and a somewhere very beautiful detailed wall now what i had done was i had switched this carpet to this one and this is a beautiful detailed oriental carpet that I've had for many moons ago and of course you can still purchase these online uh, very beautiful as you can tell lots and lots of detail here and um, look at that so as you can see it's just too light I had redone I, I redid the whole room and it was just entirely too light for me so I'm going to put it back to the carpet that I had before and it's this one right here. This one right here is the one that I had before. Maybe I should flip it around. Look, this edge is looking ugh, horrible. Why are my edges looking so bad? I'm going to have to cut those off. Those are terrible. These are a little bit better, but not by much. Okay. So look at the detail on the carpeting. It's absolutely gorgeous as as you can see, very pretty, very pretty. And with the same detail in the back. All right, so we're just gonna put this room back together again, the best that we can. There we go. And I'm holding it, so I'm sorry if I make you a little sick. I apologize, this old lady is going through it, honey. Okay, so we got that old piece there. This has been with me forever. And look, look, you see, you see how it got dark on the one edge? Yeah, because the sun had got to it. Um, remember, your dollhouse furniture, anything that has fabric on it, remember the sun can damage it. Uh, it's, you know, just like it does in a house, you know, just think about it that way. So I'm going to try to pull this back a little bit right here. All right. Then the next thing we're going to add is this. 
Um, I created this with you guys many moons ago. This is just made out of paper and something that I printed out is absolutely gorgeous as you can tell and I did add a really pretty backing to it and it is a, for a fireplace screen and I wanted something pretty. So we're gonna put that right here, right there. Let it sit right there. Actually, I wanna let it sit a little bit more on the flat side. There you go. There you go, girl. Gone, girl. Here we go. All right. Then here's a little, you know, you could do this. Anybody can do this. You just get, you know, a little piece of fabric. You put some little pieces of wood from outside, add a little handle, and glue, honey, glue. Super quick and very effective as far as making things look nice. And then, of course, my thing would be acting up now that I'm trying to do a video. She sits there for years, and now she's, like, giving me the blues. Okay. And then the last thing we're going to put in here, um, just for now, there's lots of things I need to add, is this table. I already put the wax on it, what have you, in the first video <laughs> that you guys aren't going to be able to see. But I need to add food to this three-tier um, plate holder there. And um, maybe add some other things here on the table. And I want to add maybe some art back here. Change out this floral because it's like two of the same. Yeah, so this definitely needs some updating. And I did take this down. This was over the fireplace. This right here. And I took it down. I want to move this somewhere else. And you can see it has the wax. I need to, you know, move that. And I did this i highly recommend if you're a dollhouse miniatures and you see this at the dollar tree this is part of their um valentine's department um cosmetic brushes this is excellent to do for dollhouse miniatures just giving you a heads up mm -hmm, girl so that's what the, the that's this is what the room looks like as of right now i still need to add like i said the curtains, if I want to put those back, the ones I created, or put a different set. I also thought about putting a faux stained glass windows, the ones that I bought that are like bookmarks or whatever from uh, Timu and Shein. So I do have lots of options and things to consider. I'm very happy with the way the fireplace looks, as you can tell. It has a very nice look to it. It has a really nice look to it, and I really love that detailed screen and then the little wood. And then that picture there, I think it looks really nice. I still can change that up if I want to, but I think it looks pretty good. Let me see if I can keep you a little bit more still. And I like the way that my lamps that I created many years ago um, look on here too. I just need to change that one. Yeah. So I hope you do come back because I the next room I'll be working on, again, is going to be one of these 12 rooms because this house has 12 rooms. So. Make sure you come back and come hang out with me. I'd really enjoy it. Have a great one. Bye.